Okay, people, Carlton back here again with a mobile update on Ethereum. I wanted to show you what I think is happening here and the target price that I have. And the one indication that I put on my chart that before I even heard of people that were saying the target that we're going to get, that I was, I was already feeling this way. So on the chart, we can see we are experiencing this little whipsaw action right here after the big pump and the peak up above 600. And I had posted on my Telegram channel that my big wish was that we would have a rejection right up here where we see the price line bumping the head of the 1.618 big red Fibonacci uh, ring and then also the big blue one. I think the blue one is the 2.618, I think. I'd have to scrunch it down to see. So I posted that and I said, believe you me, I don't think it's going to happen, but I just really wish it would so I could get a chance to be able to buy one to five ETH at some point in the future before it goes off on the next real massive tear. Well, lo and behold, it did. So it peaked out at this price and we got rejection at right underneath both of those FIB circle rings. And the, the one thing that was letting me know that it's possible that it could come back down, I had this ascending trend line right here. Do you see this blue line coming up? And I thought, well, this is the overall trend. And if we can correct and come back down to that point, we should have some bargain basement prices to jump into Litecoin. Now, you also see, or Litecoin, Ethereum, I'm losing my mind. You also see that that blue ascending trend line runs through my green box, my kill zone box, the strike zone, okay? Now, we see that price bounced right here on top of the red 1.618 line, the FIB circle line. And if we bounce on that a few more times, I think we're going to fail that line. In fact, I know we're going to fail it. My target is at least down here at the top of the box, which is a price of 420. But I think there's a chance that we could even go below this box. Why? Well, first of all, we got some volume nodes that are going to attract price. Here's one right here that is around what? Is that around $500? And then we have our next volume node, which peaks out right at the top of the box, which is at 420. And then we have the point of control. That's where the uh, Ethereum value, that's the value price, which is sitting at $386 right here. And then there's one more node that peaks out below that. So there's a possibility we could drop below that box. Chances are we're going to make it into this zone and then start to move back up and it's all going to be depending on what bitcoin does but i think that this this uh correction here is definitely something that was needed and it looks like things just got a little out of control because we were trading way up above the 50 day and the 200 day ema the only other thing that lets me know that this correction has a ways more to go look at the on balance volume showing heavy dumping people are taking profits and we're talking the heavy Heavy, big whale, large bag holders are dumping. And uh, if we were not experiencing a dumping of the insiders, this on-balance volume would have stayed up here and we would have had a diversion of on-balance volume and price. So if price comes down and then on-balance volume stays up, that says you're going to have a nice, strong bounce. You're going to return to that same price level but move up even higher. Well, we didn't get that. We see that we had a dump and we had a corresponding dump on the OBV, which says that we're probably going to be headed back towards the value price because where we're trading right now is certainly not a value when you add the fact that the on balance volume showed that dump. So stochastic looks like it's already at the bottom and headed up to another up cycle. And what I will be looking for, and I always tell you this, is what is going to be the price at the top of the stochastic peak? What's the corresponding price? So when we get up here to the top of the next stoke cycle, I'm looking for what the price will return up here. And if it gives us a lower high, that's a confirmation that we're still in this overall downtrend and price will end up down here in my strike zone box where I might get a chance to pick up one ETH. So that's the way I see it. Let me know what your thoughts are. 
Do you think ETH is going to correct all the way down to here? Or do you think it's going to do its own thing and break away from Bitcoin, which I think is absolutely not going to happen? I'd love to hear your thoughts. This is Carlton, the Crypto Pro, and I'm out. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.